As the new owner of the Kansas City Royals, it is my job to help bring back titles to this great city. It is my duty to give the fans of Kansas City the best possible teams I can year in and year out. And I fully intend to do that. I want to bring excitement to baseball in Kansas City. I want kids to want to grow up and play for the Royals. I want this city and team to be the best in decades. I want the team that everyone plays for to be the Royals. I want to build a winning tradition and I want to build a dynasty. Welcome to 688 The Bull. We have Slacker Gaming, the new owner of the Kansas City Royals, on the phone right now. And let's talk about baseball. Since owning the brand new Kansas City Huskies NBA organization, congratulations by the way, how can fans feel that you will be putting effort into an already established franchise in MLB? Can you give it your all for owning two teams? Uh, rest assured, my staff and I will be giving 100% to both of these organizations uh, all the time, basically. Uh, it has been a dream of mine to own the Royals since I was little, and, and it's been a dream um, I have been chasing for years. Uh, this isn't something that's just out of the blue. I've been working on this for years now, and I, I want to bring back a, a basketball team to Kansas City, and you know we are able to do that now it's time to take care of the royals i'll be able to give 100 percent of my attention to both teams because i have the best staff in the world around me and i only hire people that i feel have the same passion and drive as myself so yes i feel like i can own both teams and both teams can be really successful in this great city with the new season starting what will be the coaching staff and roster look like this year compared to last year well, coming in, I wanted to make sure that I didn't change anything and I want to give everyone a chance. So um, I sat down with all the staff and players to discuss uh, the visions of theirs and what our visions are and kind of what they want to get out of their careers. Um, I've also believed that the previous owner, Glass Family, um, did a really good job of building this team before and a great job of building the team now. Um, uh, I want to use what they've they've built already uh, for our rebuild as well. And all players and coaches have been kept on the staff because I think everyone deserves a chance and everyone deserves uh, an opportunity to prove themselves. And I'm not going to come in here and just redo the team of what was already built already. And I believe that we have the best young core in the in the mate in the minors. And I only want to keep building upon that. I think there's a lot of work still to do. I think a lot of the the foundation has been built. As you know, we have some really, really good pitching, young pitching staff. And I kind of would just build upon that. And I want to put people around them and and I don't want to stay in a rebuilding the rebuilding funk for very long. I want to start putting out winning teams. I want to start giving the fans something to cheer about and everything. So that's going to be kind of the approach we take for the season. Not a lot of changes, uh, but you know, as the season goes, as years go by, um, definitely some changes coming. What do you think is going to be the biggest change that you make this year? Um, if any, I know you just said that you're not planning on changing a lot, but if there is something you need to change, uh, what would it be for this year? Um, I think the biggest thing that we are going to be doing this year is actually adding um, even more budget to scouting. I feel like we we do, did a great job of scouting, but I always feel like there can be more scouting going on. And I think hiring more people for not only college and high school draft scouting, but for international scouting and even scouting other MLB teams, trying to get those players that um, maybe other teams have overlooked or something or looking for a player that might not be as highly touted, but we see something in them. And so I wanted to put a lot of money into scouting. And I, I think with great scouts um, that are out there, we can really build upon what we already have and have a have amazing even more amazing uh, group of core guys coming through this farm system. Um, I want to build this team with the farm system. That's how the Glass family did it and had great success with it, winning the winning the title a few years ago. So I, I want to do the same thing, and that's kind of how I, I've done the NBA part is to kind of have that core group of 
group of players and just let them all grow together because I believe that a team that grows together growing up through the the minors and the farm system is going to be used to each other in the majors. And that's what you had from the Royals with Hosmer and Moustakis and and that core group of people. And I, I want to do that with this team as well. All right, last question. How long do you see this rebuild being before we see a playoff caliber team? Well, I, as I kind of said with the rebuild, I, I don't want to rebuild for very long. Um, I think this year is going to tell us a lot about the ball club in general. And I think based on how we do this year, we will kind of know where we're going to be in the next few years. So if we have kind of a down year, this year then we can kind of look and say okay where do we need to improve at where can we get those players quickly and I, yeah i don't want to be rebuilding forever i don't think that we need to rebuild all the time um one thing i like to say is we don't want to rebuild we want to reload so if we lose lose a player to contract or player decides they don't want to uh, be in Kansas City anymore or something like that, then we want to be able to kind of reload that position and not have to rebuild all the time. And with the core group of guys that we have, I I think it's only actually a few seasons away from making a playoff push. Um, Again, we are building a dynasty and want our teams to be competitive for years to come. So wanting to use that farm system and not necessarily go out and try to trade for pieces that will help now, but to trade for pieces that will help for several years, um, several years in the future. So we're looking for not necessarily younger players, but players that we feel like could contribute three to five years for us, not just a couple of years of, of baseball left in them. Uh, we're looking for players that could give us a good three to five years. We're wanting to make sure that the, the farm guys we bring up are, are ready uh, to put in that time and and if the, it takes them till they're 25 to get here but we feel like at 25 they're ready to give us five six ten years of greatness then uh, that's what we'll do and that's what we've kind of sat down and talked to the younger players about is that just because they have not got called up to the majors and they're 23 24 and a lot of the other people are it's not like your your career is over. It's not like you're never going to make it. Uh, we're wanting to bring you up at the right time. And we don't want to put you in a situation where you're going to fail and maybe just lose your career right there. We want to bring you up when you're you're ready and when you can give us, you know, five to ten good years of, of a good career. And that's kind of what, what we're going to do. That's how we're going to rebuild this. But ultimately, I think we're just a few years away, honestly, from getting that playoff caliber team. I think within the next three to five years, we can win a World Series. And that's kind of what we're sticking with. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes this year and and what we need to grow upon. And I think we'll make changes this year when we see something that we need to address. I feel like we can go out with it, with our scouting again, I feel like we can go out and and find someone already in the league or something like that that can help our team in years to come, or can straight up just fill in while we give our uh, our farm system something to uh, to build upon. But I think we're three to five years away, and that's the plan uh, for us moving on. And I think we'll we'll definitely be in the playoffs soon. Thank you so much for the interview. This is six eighty eight. The Bull Radio with the Kansas City Royals, and we're looking forward to this year and looking to see what the Royals can do this year. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, feel free to hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week where we start opening day. So if you like this episode, make sure you stick around, make sure you subscribe, and so that you can catch the rest of the season of the Royals. Till next time, Slacker out.